In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a person in Blender. So first, select the default cube, and then go to the modifier tab and add a subdivision surface modifier. Now go to the side view and press tab to go into edit mode. Make sure you have all the top vertices selected, and then scale it up and extrude it. Then scale it up, and after you extrude it, scale it down about there, bring it a bit lower, and then extrude it once more about there, extrude it again, one more time, and that's a neck. Then scale that a bit more, and then you have the head. So now we're going to go and select all the torso and scale it down on the x-axis because bodies aren't round. Torsos are like flat. So now you're going to select on face select you're going to select both of these areas where the arms should be and then extrude S and then X you're going to scale both of them down on the x-axis until they're kind of like squares, squarish. And then extrude it one more time. And then Y, well, scale it on the y-axis. And about there is good. In fact, I'm going to scale it down a bit on the x on the y-axis, then extrude it one more time, and then scale it on the y-axis to give it a bit more rounder hands. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get this knife tool, and then you're just going to cut something there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to select both of these and extrude it down. And whenever you're extruding, you're just going to move this a little to the left. You're going to select the face and extrude it one more time by itself and then move it to the left. Extrude this one one more time and then move it to the right. Okay, so now we have the basic torso for the legs. We got the legs. Now we're going to extrude it down. Extrude it down uh, about there. Extrude it about there. And for the feet, we're just going to extrude the legs, the leg area, one more time to make that. Make sure we have both legs selected. And then extrude it twice. And now we have feet. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Okay, that's good. So now we have the basic body shape. And now we're going to add the little indentations where the clothes would be. Because we're going to add clothes to him. Well, you don't have to. You could just leave it like this. But right now we're going to add clothes. So go into object mode and apply the subdivision surface modifier. Okay, so once you apply the subdivision surface mod modifier, tab into edit mode and go to wireframe mode. You're going to want to go on vertice select for this and select both arms on the same point about there. Now extrude it and you, know, you want to extrude it and scale both of them down. And then you're going to scale both of them up on the y-axis. Do about a little further. 
than where it was first extruded. So it gives little indentations for where the shirt would be. I'm going to do the same thing with the head for the top of the shirt. Extrude it, then scale it down, and put it there. So there, are, yeah, little indentations on where the shirt should be. Now there's a little bit of a messy geometry here. We're going to bring down these two points for the legs. Just bring it down a little, and uh, that's better. So now you're going to want to select all the legs there, extrude them, extrude them down, scale them down, and then bring them back up. Okay, so now for the shoes, we're going to move this geometry, move the vertices there, about there until they form sort of a straight line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Can wobble a little bit. Yeah, until you have things that would be good for shoes. So now select the entire foot. Now extrude. Scale it up. And you're just going to want to scale it down on the x axis. I mean, scale it down on the y axis. Because that's where it is. And now you can see little indentations on where the shoes are. In fact, let's move it forward. Yeah, just a little bit to make those indentations a bit more apparent. Okay, so now we have the clothes. Now we're going to separate the body parts into sections so we can basically texture the clothes. So first for the torso area, we're just going to go here, select the areas where the seams are. Just there. Now, about there. Now we're just going to select everything else in the middle. Make sure not to get any other vertices because then you'll have some messy textures and you don't want that. Okay, so now that you have the entire area where the shirt's going to be selected, you're going to press P by selection. And now if you go back into edit mode, if you, I mean if you go back into the object mode, then you can see that you separated them into two different objects. So now go into material preview mode, then you're going to texture another material and add a material and let's make a shirt red. And let's turn the roughness up a bit more, make it look a bit better. Let's do the same thing for the shorts or pants. I'll make them shorts. So basically just select all that P by selection. Then you can make them blue. This is very important. See this number here? The number two? That means two different objects are using the same material. That means if I change this color, it would change the color of the other one. You want to click on that to make it a new material. So you're just going to choose the color of the shorts. It doesn't have to be blue, it can be any color you want. So now for the shoes. You know what to do. Select the shoes. P by selection. Now, now you can just make the shoes black or again you can make it any color you want I also recommend turning up the roughness on these because you don't really want shiny clothes or shiny skin you know what let's add some hair to this dude go into 
base select and then just select the top of the head and then edges there and then the back of the head and edges there like that and then E scale make it a bit bigger and now just move it back a bit more and then you got a hair indentation so now let's just separate the hair so yeah just select all the vertices that the hair is where the hair connects to the skin by selection and now you can change the color of the hair let's make it a brown again turn up the roughness because it makes it look a bit better because if you have the roughness to zero you can see it makes it really shiny you don't really want that turn the roughness up now we're going to color of the skin you can make just you can set the same color and that is basically that is one of the simplest ways on how to make a character but we're not done yet select all of the characters just move this lamp away select all of the body parts and then select one of them control J make sure you had all of them selected and now they're all one thing they're all one object and they're all merged they have different materials so now we're going to rig the model what rigging means is that you're just gonna add bones to it so that you can actually animate and move the arms you can move the legs you can move the head so to do that you'll need to you'll see that armature is there you could add one and you can see it there just to move it down and then tab to edit mode just scale it up and then you're gonna get this top one extrude 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 it about there and about there it doesn't have to be perfect you know what, I'm gonna move this, I'm gonna move them down. Extrude. Extrude. Basically, where all the dots are, where all the, where all these are, that's where, that's a joint, that's where it's gonna, you know, be a joint. So, yep, we're gonna wanna, the neck to be able to move. And now, do the same things for the legs. I want to be able to do that. Do that. And that. That. And you know what? Let's make this dude able to move his toes. And now we added a skeleton to him. But if we go into pose mode and move the skeleton it doesn't affect the actual dude so what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the skeleton and then hold down shift and click on the dude and then click on the skeleton again you want the skeleton to be yellow and the dude to be orange so you're gonna go control P with automatic weights and what's that what that's going to do it's going to set the skeleton to the parent and it's going to with automatic weights it's going to let you move the character okay so now that we actually added the amateurs we added the bones and now that they're connected now if we're in pose mode you can go in wireframe and you can see that you can actually move him. You can move the person. You can move the arms. You can move him. You can move the head. You can do all that. 
Yeah, you can even move the toes. And that is how you make a character in Blender. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.